Okay, so we just finished up fishing. We threw back three nice bass. They were in the slot limit. Anyway, we got uh, eight crappie, a bluegill, and three bass that we kept. And here they are. There's some nice ones here. I mean, those are some fat crappie. I mean, they've got some big bellies on them. I guess they're getting ready for the pre-spawn here. I'm about to clean them up. We'll get them filleted up real quick. Look at this weird bass. He doesn't have an upper lip on him. I don't know what happened to it. When you're filleting a bass, I'll show you a little trick. There's some bones in there you want to get rid of. So you fillet it just like you do the crappie. And there's a cut you're going to have to make after you get the fillet off, and I'll show it to you. It's real simple and quick. Doesn't waste any meat. Just a tiny little section. But you fillet it off the skin just like that. Put that one aside, and I'll get this other side finished up, and then I'll show you. And it gets some little bones out that are right along the lateral line. It's where they feel vibration. This is the lateral line here. That's their predatory fish. And when the water's real cloudy like it was today, they feel that vibration of a spinner bait or a crankbait or something like that going by. And they just hone in on it and bam, it's all over. But, okay. Right here, it's, when you've run your fingers down, you'll feel these little finger bones that are right in here. And you just put your knife right on the side of them and cut that. And cut it again. And those finger bones all just come right out. <laughs> Messed that one up. I'm gonna make another cut on this one. Feel the finger bones right in here. You can feel them with your fingers. It's right where the back meat meets this belly meat. Just make a little slice. And that all comes out and those bones are gone. And bigger crappie like this big one, I gotta see, she's just full of eggs. So is that one there. They're getting ready to spawn, these big ones are. And here it's just the end of March. The bigger crappie sometimes may have those bones in them and you gotta cut them out too, but I usually don't mess with them on crappie. Bass, almost all of them, I, I can feel myself cutting through the bones there. This one's gonna have some bigger bones. So I'll cut those out on this one too. Yeah. Help if I'd fillet it out first, Bill. <clears throat> All right, there, got that. So feel those bones right in here. And you don't have to cut real far in them. Look at all those eggs. I used to fry those up all the time and eat them. That old girl was loaded with them, my gosh. But crappie spawn so much and they have so many uh, fry that, and they may breed two to three times a year and they compete with bass for the food. So a lot of people in small ponds and stuff don't want them. Personally, I like to have crappie in my pond. They're good to eat, they're fun to catch. Pretty easy to catch too. It's an all around good fish, but a lot of the fish biologists say, oh, the crappie, they're gonna take over the world. You don't want them in a pond. Not if you got bass there, they'll compete with a bass. Well, I'll tell you what, all the ponds I've ever fished had good sized crappie and had good sized bass in them. So, I don't know. 
Maybe that's real, maybe it's not. Keep laying on these rascals and get them all done. It was a pretty good day on the lake. Man, I think I got sunburn on my face. That reflection off the water was just really intense. My face feels kind of crispy. I already got my burn down in Florida once this year when we went down there fishing. So anyway, that uh, finished up the fishing experience on Cedar Lake in Southern Illinois. It was a good day all in all. We had a blast, sure beat working on the farm. It's kind of nice to have all that fish to eat all the time and uh, we freeze up a lot of it. Eat it all through the winter time and uh, all through the summer time. Tell you what, there's nothing like fried bluegill or fried cro crappie and bass with uh, asparagus spears. Oh my gosh, big salad. Oh. It's just hard to beat. Hope you learned something today. It was really windy out there. We had a kind of a rough time keeping the boat going. Really enjoyable. So thank you for joining us. If um, you really liked what you saw, please subscribe and like it and hit the notification bell. Good to see you and we'll see you on the next round. <laughs>